Hi everyone, uh, the Psych Info Database has a new search interface now starting in fall of 2024 and it's brand new so I don't think there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube yet that show you how to use it so I wanted to make a really quick one just to get you started in case you just went to this database expecting it to look different and it looks not the same as last year. Um, Almost everything that you're looking for is still here. We still have our advanced search box here that we can type in terms. If you're looking for the subject search, they're in this tab underneath that search box. So you'll click subjects and then you can browse the APA thesaurus of subject terms or you can search for the term that you're interested in. And just like before, whenever you click on a term in the thesaurus, it should give you the definition, give you the broader terms and the related terms, and this will give you lots of ideas of other subjects or keywords that you'd like to search for. Um, so that is a good thing to know about. Um, on this same page, if we look at the filters, this is where a lot of your advanced search options are. So you can always limit to full text. Um, you can also limit by the publication date. If you keep scrolling, um, some other things you might want to limit by as you're searching, um, we can limit to publication type and pick peer reviewed journal if you want to do that. Um, you could also limit by language if you have a specific language that you're looking for or if you want to make sure all the articles that you find are in English, you can also do that. Um, you could limit by the age group that you're studying before you search. Um, you could limit by population. Are you interested in studying people or animals? Um, and then another one that people use a lot is you might want to limit by methodology. So sometimes if you're looking for empirical studies, it's really cool to be able to limit to that methodology. And then when you do your search, you will only get articles that have that methodology. So this is where some of the options have moved. Um, now you can still go up to the top and do a keyword search. Um, so maybe we could do college students and mental health or stress um, just depending on whichever your topic is and click search and you'll see the results um, and so this will look a little bit different than it looked last fall as well but you get your list of articles um, you can scroll through and look at them or if you notice right away that maybe you want to narrow your search a little bit more it's showing us what filters we already chose from that advanced search menu um, but we can pop this open and here are the rest of those if you want to limit this a little bit further um, maybe you notice like some of the stuff is older than you wanted you could go in here and do some more of those limiters this way um, you can click on the article title and that will get you to the screen where you can read the abstract um, and then also get the APA citation. So you'll see that box on this screen where you can change this to APA and I might ask them to default that for us if they can and then um, here would be the recommended citation you could copy for this article if it was one that you wanted to use. Um, the other thing that you can do either from that screen or this screen is you can go under the access options and click full text finder and this will go out to our library it will check to see if we have this article and if we do like this one we do have it's going to give you a link to that article so everything will look a little bit different than last year but you should be able to find the features that you're used to using in psych info if you have any questions um, as you're searching if you run into any problems, you can always reach out to me um, to the Ask the Library chat. 
um, to anyone in the library and we're happy to help you out. We want to make sure that you find the articles that you need.